Fructose and glucose are definitely associated with the onset of type 2 diabetes. High animal fat uptake and also really secondary is high animal protein. Okay, but it's the high animal fat you'll see. Now this is uh, work by uh, Dr. Cleave. And basically you see where it peaks it, it, before war. And then during the war, World War I, World War II, not so much sugar available. Rates of diabetes go down. So this is pretty important. 1975, his book called The Saccharin Disease came out. And it's like, okay. At that point, the answer was clearly there. There was a debate, still is going on. It shouldn't be a debate. Is people thought fat was a uh, leading cause. And so this ended that debate. But the fact is both are big players. So f the whole fat part is got diminished after this came out in 1975, but now there's more and more research, which I'm going to share with you today, that looks at animal fat, particularly animal fat. But let's look at fructose facts. Uh, it's a, a, an alliterated alliteration. And, but people who say, oh, fructose is not a problem. It is a big problem. It's not safer than glucose. <clears throat> This is what I mentioned uh, uh, between 1980 and 1997, a 2,100% increase in diabetes. There's a correlation, okay? Now, I'm going to use the word advanced glycation in products. It's called ages, okay? And it does age you. It's where fructose and glucose combine unnaturally with protein. When we measure for diabetics, we call it an A1C where glucose, fructose combine unnaturally with your hemoglobin, and that's easy to measure. But this is going on all over the body, and it creates free radicals, it creates oxidization, it dis disrupts uh, enzyme function, protein function, and right away is even the DNA. So it is a problem, and it deteriorates health. So I just want to give you that idea. Uh, and it's actually, we can actually get these, what they call glycotoxic uh, problems from animal uh, animal flesh because they also have glycosylated proteins and when we eat it, it goes into us and it creates free radicals and oxidization and disrupts our metabolism too. But fructose is actually very, very powerful. Let's say 10 times more powerful than glucose. That's important. 10 times more. And cancer cells, pancre pancre pancreatic cancer cells like fructose over glucose. Actually, the truth is cancer cells like fructose 10 times more than they like glucose. And cancer cells like glucose 10 times more than regular cells. So it's significant. So also it inflames the brain. The glia cells, are the repair cells, they move around the brain. 10 times more inflammation in the glial cells, that more means we're increasing brain inflammation, which creates m problems with memory and mental functioning. So, and the two balancing hormones primary are leptin and insulin, and it mixes up the signaling, so they can't coordinate as well. So fructose causes uh, more than a little bit of problems. Uh, now, ghrelin, I mentioned a little bit earlier, is... I call it the hunger hormone. When ghrelin is secreted, it says you're full. But that doesn't work with fructose. For whatever reason, it, fructose says keep eating, and the ghrelin doesn't get secreted. <clears throat> so that's what's going on. It actually literally blocks the leptin signaling. It says stop eating and stop craving sweets. It does just the opposite. It says keep eating and store fat and continue to create sweets. So we can see fructose is a problem. And oh, people say, well, fruit fructose is different. We, we don't know that. Fructose is kind of fructose. What I will tell you is it's best not to have, the research suggests not to have more than 15 to 25 grams of fructose from any source a day. The average person is about 81 grams. So we just weren't genetically designed to handle that level of fructose. That's the point. So where does this leave us? 
what does fructose do? Well, I'm going to summarize it for you to get an idea. It's <coughs> associated with chronic diabetes degenerative syndrome, insulin resistance, diabetes in general, heart disease, high blood pressure, obesity, gout, which is interesting, kidney stones, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It's the number one. People who do uh, a fairly high amount of, of fructose in their diet have two to three times more non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. That's worth considering. A lot of people have it. It inflames the brain. It's associated with cancer. It accelerates aging. And that's because it increases ages. Advanced glycation in products. So it's not a winner. We want to avoid fructose the best we can. Got lots of references just to make the point, okay? We're just not saying it. The data is pretty, pretty strong here. Okay, and here we go with the sweets. How we promote the, the sweet drinks, it's a problem. Mm -hmm.